action today. Just been busy here at home. Haven't gone anywhere. I've just been busy. And then the power went out. Which has nothing to do with me filming or not filming, but the power went out. I've been working on making breakfast and lunches that are freezer meals so that the kids can grab them and go. Let me show you what I've been making. So if you know what little smokies are, they're those little tiny hot dogs that you can get over by like the diced ham and stuff like that in the grocery store. And then I just got Pillsbury Crescent dough and just rolled them up and cooked them. I just stretched out the dough however I wanted. And then I portioned them out so there's six or seven in each little baggie. And I figured that the kids can take that and put it in their thermos container. So warm them up in the morning and then drop these. They're, they're small so that they'll fit into their little thermos and then they can have that for lunch. I'm showing you my freezer out in the garage. These peanut butter sandwiches I made a couple weeks ago and I made 18 of them. It took two loaves of bread. These have come in so handy because the kids could just grab it and take it and go. I made Uncrustables for Rebecca, so this is Jacob's. I'm starting to run out of them in here, so I'll need to work on making some more. You know what a sausage egg McMuffin is at McDonald's? Well, I made a whole bunch of sausage egg McMuffins too. And this way, Joe or the kids can pull one out and either use it for lunch or for breakfast. So I'm just putting that, I'll put that back in the freezer. And then there's the pigs in a blanket that I made with the little Smokies. Our dog has to know what's going on because he's running away. He hasn't had a bath since before we went to the cottage. That is disgusting. He's covered in cottage lake water and he's covered in syrup and honey. Time to go give the dog a bath. Handley, you need a bath. You are dirty. I have not been a good doggy mom. In case you're interested, this is the kind of shampoo that the, the veterinarian had us buy for Handley. Look at the price. Holy smokes, it's a good thing that he doesn't have a shampoo every day. This has lasted us probably six months so far. I should have done that a long time ago. I feel bad. It only took me 10 minutes, but now he's all clean. Now he's gonna go make a mess in the yard. So our grocery store has this thing that I've never known before. They have fruit at the front of the store and it says each child can have one piece of fruit while they're shopping and it's free. So John is a happy camper because he got his free banana today. Hi. Yeah, I think that's a really neat idea. So I finally got to stop at Goodwill today and John and I went through the books. We didn't find a ton, but we did find a few and I wanted to show them to you. First of all, I found this Eric Carle book, 10 Little Rubber Ducks. John has been singing this. I've taught him the song about three little ducks run out to play. I'll see if I can get him to sing it to you. He heard me say it, now he's excited. Should we sing the duck song? Okay. Will you help? Oh, you want to get up? Three little ducks went out to play over the hill and far away when the mama duck said quack, quack, quack. We're going to skip ahead. One little duck came waddling back, but when the daddy duck said Three little ducks came waddling back when the daddy duck said Quack, quack, quack. Three little ducks came waddling back. I collect Berenstein Bear books and now Rebecca does too and so I found this one that I'd never seen before. It's the Berenstein Bears yeah. Go to the Movies and it, it's a board book. It's a really short book but it's cute and I think it's one that actually John in a quiet moment would let me read it. On, on, on. All of a sudden John's really interested in the camera on, on, so I gave on, him on, an on, old camera and he's trying to get it on but I don't think it's the batteries on. working. Hey everybody, it's uh, Wednesday afternoon. Is it Wednesday? Yeah, it's Wednesday. Uh, back from work, obviously. I've even had time to change out of my suit before heading over to the church for youth activities, and there's my phone ringing, so I guess I'll come back in just a minute. It was spam. I don't like spam very much. She annoys me. But I wanted to show you something. This morning, I came downstairs, and I noticed that John's high chair was broken. Somewhere along the line, 
that happened. I can fix it, but this bolt up here on the top, the head of it is only accessible if I remove the entire seat off first. I don't have time to do that today, so um, John's going to be without a high chair for another day or two. So guys, I'm freaking out just a little bit. We have a tornado warning. Actually, they're saying they're now calling it a tornado emergency. So I don't know exactly what that means, but um, hopefully everything's going to be okay because there are tornadoes and they are approaching. Joe's at the church with Jacob. I'm hoping that he'll be able to come home and I just got to pray and hope that everything's okay. And I hear the tornado siren. So I'm just watching the news just to make sure that everything's okay. Looks like the activities at the church are going to be canceled. They're trying to get everybody home just to be on the safe side. It looks like the storm might be turning. I just knelt down and prayed with Rebecca to just calm us down and to remember that God is in charge. Um, we have blankets downstairs. That's where we're going to go for shelter. And we have the cat down there already. So I just need to get Jacob and Joe home. And then I'll know that everything's okay with my family, regardless of what happens. That's what the sky looks like. I don't hear sirens anymore. Not sure what's going to happen. Well, this is exactly what we all wanted to be doing on a Wednesday night. We are hanging out in our lovely basement because there is a tornado emergency. Uh, sure. The tornado sirens went off outside. They're not going off right now, but they were. So we've got the dog with us. We've got, well, we got John with us. Do we have you with us, John? Are you with us? Where's the, where's the cat? Over there. Jesse's with us, and clearly some of us are more stressed out than others. John, do you want this one? Okay. The warning's over for our neck of the woods. It's not very far away from us, though. Um, but because it's gotten close enough, we can tell that it's going to go past where we are. It's it's north of us. It's moving northeast. About it's about five miles northeast of us. Maybe ten miles northeast of us now. Okay, you're already up. So I think that I think we're in the clear. Well, apparently we're not in the clear yet. Uh, there's another storm. Uh, the, well, apparently we're not in the... Uh, I can't even talk. <laughs> You're tired. We, we, we should make a bloopers real life. Well, apparently we're not in the clear yet. The uh, storm system that pushed us downstairs has passed to the Please. north, like Angie said, but there's another one coming Please. in um, in the next couple of hours, which might send us into the basement, maybe Please. even in the middle of the night, which would be Please. the pits. I hope that doesn't happen. Because these trolls in the background... Um, would be even grumpier than I am, and I'm feeling a little grumpy oh, right now. Yeah. Oh well, I'll show you outside in just a second. Well, it doesn't look like much right now. Maybe it's the calm before the storm, but right now, according to, but according to the uh, the weather channel and the Doppler radar stuff, the storm is hot and heavy right above us, just north of us. The, the calm it's land before the lion. No, the calm before the storm. You Mom have chocolate pudding on your face. Mom told me about the like the, the sheep before the lion. Uh, that's the month of March. Comes in like a lion, goes out like a lamb. Oh yeah, that's what. We have to go back down to the basement again, and this guy doesn't want to go. This is all of Rebecca's stuff that she brought down. And I brought down one thing, and it's just to keep my hands occupied. But she's pretty nervous. I can hear the tornado sirens outside. We're all on a bit of an edge right now. There is a storm and it is here. I can hear it. I don't know what it looks like, John. Jacob, go get John. Um, so we're trying not to be stressed out. I'm trying to just be brave. I don't know exactly what, I can just hear it. 
So we're still down here. We're still taking shelter. It's been two hours, I think, that we've been down here now. It is uh, 9.15. I'm starting to feel weary. It's just bedtime. I'm just really thankful that the storm, apparently it was rotating above us and it didn't hit landfall, which is a great blessing. But um, there's another one on its tail, so that's kind of what we're waiting for to see what happens with that. Bye. Yeah. Well, I think we're in the clear. Oh, no. There's a possibility that there's more to come, but I don't think the chances are very high. So we're going to start settling down, calming down. Everyone's still really wound up. John is still awake, and it's almost 10 o'clock. No. Oh, my goodness. And, um... Coincidentally, Angie's video for mommy school yeah. is Twister. Oh, 